up for tonight's fourth division championship game as Stockport County entertain South End United. We'd just like to extend a very warm welcome to all the players, officials, supporters and directors of South End United Football Club for what could prove to be a very interesting fixture. South End United come here to Stockport tonight. They must beat Stockport if they're to definitely get promotion into the third division. If they draw or lose tonight, that could mean that Wolverhampton Wanderers could go above them which would mean that Southend would then be faced with some playoff promotion matches with one or two other clubs, and I'm quite sure they don't want to be involved in that. Southend haven't got a particularly good record here. They've only won here once in the last six seasons, and that was three seasons ago when they won here on a snowbound pitch. And I'm quite sure tonight there won't be any snow. It's a very nice evening here. It's been sunny all day. The pitch has been, in fact, watered. There's a fair amount of mud in the middle of the pitch. So I think that uh, we could be in for a really interesting match. I'm quite sure that Colin Murphy, the Stockport County manager, will make it difficult for South End United. And I'm quite sure that Colin Murphy and his team would like to give the loyal supporters something to cheer about as they reach their final home match of the season. Nine, Sartori. Number ten, Les... Well, good evening. Welcome to a very noisy edge of the park. Both teams are now on the uh, field. South End United are on Spurs. Number ten, Danny O'Shea and Trevor Matheson, the two captains. We'll be getting this game underway very, very shortly. Crucial match in the history of South End United. Who have to win to get promotion from the fourth division. Massive following from South End here this evening and a warm welcome to them and their supporters. Okay, it's kick-off time now. Stockport County to kick off in the striped shirts. County and the blue and white stripes to kick off, attacking the goal to your left. The Mark Saw Tories coming for Wayne Entwistle this evening. The Southlands away form recently has been a bit patchy. They've lost to Burnley and uh, Wrexham. But uh, they certainly need no motivation tonight. A short start. There's such for Chris Marcus. Stockport, of course, is saved from relegation following the point at Peter Brick. Johnson then. Johnson again. Three four by Matheson. Put it by Dave Martin. It's out of play. Trevor Matheson, captain. Stockport throw. Brown to take it. So pretty tense stuff out there. Something has to give tonight. 
Brown again then. South end throw. in there. Keyed up for this game as well. Firstly. And back to standard. So a lot of puffing and puffing so far. Poor pass by Martin. Hoskinson. Johnson plays. Sartori. Wesley plays for South End. Good pass there. And United can't afford to give the ball away. And Danny O'Shea with that clearance. And there's a lot out. There's a lot at stake out there for South End tonight. Stand there desperate to win this game. That's chasing through. He needs to pick up the standard. <laughs> Stockport playing reasonably well so far. Ernie Moss couldn't quite find a way through that. Term in running there by County's uh, veteran striker. Stokes Robinson. Played by Edwards. I imagine that was handball there. Looks like Clark with his free kick. Good effort that, and South End throwing plenty of men forward. Martin coming up there. Obviously going for goal tonight. And that's what South End must do. Johnson. Donna. Offside. Kicked by uh, Stokes. 
I must say so. Johnson shall clear that. South end throw. Martin. Feeling for handball there, or well, the South End fans anyway. Martin. That's a bit short that one. And that is number two. So something's got to give in this game tonight. For Rogers to chase. South End United throw. Corner kick, rather. Chance it. There it is. The opening goal. Brilliantly taken that. And Southland take the lead here at Edgeley Park. What a superb goal this turned out to be. Look at that uh, header there by Wesley. The important touch on here, we think there by Martin. And uh, what about this for a piece of quality finishing here by Pennyfather. Look at that shot, rifled into the net. And uh, I'm afraid Chris Marples, the county keeper, had no chance whatsoever. 1-0 then to South End United here at Edgeley Park. And those delighted fans are... I think that was McDonough. There he is, so he scored. And offside on Cadet. So the whole of Southend must have enjoyed that goal. And Marples had no chance at all. So the onus now on Stockport to reply from that. That's his throw. Scuffling going on in the penalty area. And see near the keeper of that cross. Moss complaining that he was pushed. And I think his complaint has some justification there. So it's South End United taking the lead here at Stockport. Stockport safe from relegation, but I'm sure they're going to push on. I'm sure that was a foul on Moss there. There's some needle creeping in there, and that's too far for Bill. Ernie Moss not entirely happy with that decision. And a battle with Wesley, and it was six of one half, he does nail it. And there's quite a good crowd have come in tonight, probably Stockport's best league crowd of the season. And South End United are in front by goal to nil, so question now is whether they're going to hang on to that or go four for more goals. Clinical piece of finishing in the end. having a good confrontation. <laughs> so I'm not afraid to pump the long ball forward. Martin in support. Rogers. And uh, seemed to just fall over that. 
Russley powering forward. Side of Rogers. This game's like a cup tie at the moment. Southend look frightened of losing, they really do. Clearly motivated for this encounter. Stockport throw. Brown to take it. Stand have picked up for United. Not to Johnson. And McDonough offside by Yardasu. And a shot with the referee. Right. Stokes in. Wesley clears. And a right, Matheson. On ball forward. Bernie Moss is battling away out there. And throw. Quarter hour gone here, and the good news for South End supporters as their team are leading here by Golden. And they have a free kick, or is it the throw? Throw in. Most of the United fans are away to my left in the closing visitors enclosure. It's Cadet. Rogers. And Brown, Martin, give him that away though. Brown will throw it. It's not a bad ball, Sartori. Robinson. Hodgkinson, and a corner kick, two counter. Sixteen minutes gone, Stockport's first corner of the game. Hodgkinson then. Across the face of the uh, South End goal. So possibilities for counter here. Cleared very effectively there by the keeper. Hoskinson then. Catch by the keeper. Looking pretty sharp there so far. Robinson. Johnson. Martin, nice play by him. See what options he's got. Edwards. Martin uh, having a confrontation. And both these clubs really fired up for this guy. Right, Trevor Matheson. Just want to bring some sanity back to the proceedings. Robinson. I wonder whether he'll have a pot shot at goal tonight. Not a bad cross. That's why they're by Moss. So the home supporters are going behind their side. Moss getting up. Hutchinson. Likes to beat his man, Clark. So if they can get it clear. Back. Edwards thundered in. So approaching 20 minutes gone, it's out of the park. And South End have the lead. It's the important thing, they're a goal up. And a 
win tonight would mean certain promotion. And I'm sure they need no motivating whatsoever. So Stockport looking promising. Moss. Hoskinson. Park erupted then. Some supporters aren't so happy about that. So it's a bit difficult for us to see that. Sartori. A short one by Johnson. Stan and picks up. The main stand here is absolutely packed. Really, South End have been looking a little bit uncomfortable the last few minutes. County certainly taking the game for the uh, Essex club, there's Rogers, Matheson, Nancy throw, Rogers should take it, it's Martin, okay, that's not far from that one, in fact the ball's gone out the ground. Corner then. Let's see where uh, United, see if they can make anything of this. Marcus punch is clear. Penny farther. Kibet. Anti throw. Johnson out there, so you take it. Cleared by Stokes, Robinson. Offside. Robinson. Hodgkinson up against Johnson though. There's some support there though. It's Penny Father. Trying to find a cadet. Southend still have possession. Imagine Martin might be on the end of this. In fact, it's Rogers looks out of play. <laughs> so halfway through this half, rip roaring stuff and uh, Southend have the lead. Martin with the throw, the referee not too happy. Oh, play continuing. It's Cadet. I'm just leaving it for Martin. Throw possibly. It's Dave Martin who was unafraid to support the attack. Moss wins it. Edwards. And punt forward. And offside. On South End number four, Danny O'Shea. Brown might get there. Seem to be fouled in the process. A pretty busy penalty area in a moment or two. It's uh, McKenzie out on the left. With his free kick, but it took a deflection. Hodgkinson. Penny foul, Robinson. It's too far forward, an easy one for Jim Stanley. Yeah, 
Cool kick there by Standard. Hodgkinson, tackle there by Clark. Evans then with a throw. Pick up for standard. So the game has cooled off a bit now. Much more even game. Marples. Stockport's main threat seems to be coming from Ernie Moss, who's had a good game so far. It's McKenzie. It's not a bad ball. So you need a quality cross here from uh, Brown. Set it clear there by Johnson. Martin. Rogers. High lofted. Uh, Across there, giving away there again. South End don't look very comfortable when they're put under a bit of pressure. In fact, their away form in recent matches has been a bit suspect, but uh, anyway, they're still leading. That's the important thing. Andy Moss getting up, beaten out of it though. Also, has a chance to cross, might try and beat his man there. Robinson just took a bit too much time there. throw. Could be a corner, in fact it is. So you've had a series of corners so far. It's uh, two near Johnson. Matheson, it's not a bad cross that. Moss. Brown. Giving away that. It's O'Shea. Going out of room. And in fact, to Carl Hodgkinson, so it's a free kick. Approaching the half an hour stage. Stockport County nil, South End United one. Far away there by Stokes coming up, joining the attack. That's another corner. Hoskinson then with it. Moss gets up. And Standard picks up for United. Back corner there, Bandy Hoskinson. Is up. Robinson against Clark. Cadet. Nice play there by Cadet. Not a bad ball either. Penny Fowler. Oh, it might have got a goal from there. No dear. We'll be disappointed with that one. Charging forward there. It's Evans. Sartori. Oh, it's not a bad play, is it? Good cross. And disappointing uh, finish to it. So I suppose that was a, a reasonable sort of chance. Can't see putting a lot of pressure, but can't quite penetrate for it. That's McKenzie. That's Cadet. Penny Farber, back to standard. Right, 
continue and up and under by Edwards, Moss, Moss again, and it's Clark. South End Skiffle gives it away. South End throw. So less than a quarter an hour remaining in this half and South End United leading by a goal to nil. Tennis at the moment. Stokes against Cadet. <laughs> infringement. Free kick to County. Hoskinson against uh, Johnson. Madonna forward, but offside. Various hand signals. Moss gets up. Brown lurking in the background. Counter throw. Martin toppling over. Edwards. Brown. Sartori Two defenders in the way That's the first time County have really penetrated through Plenty of pressure on the south end goal here at the moment Evans coming up there as an extra attacker Some savoury instruments there I think they're recording running All getting a bit hot and flustered down there Sure, who's taking it? I think it's a keeper. I think South End and Stockport have been popped up with Valium before this game. Boiling over that, referees got to sort it out. That play continuing, goal kick to United. Kenzie, up and under clearance there, so Stockport. Starting to get on top. There's McDonough. Good ball there for Cadet. Rogers. Deflected though. Robinson. Oh dear, straight to Rogers. Uh, disappointing cross there by uh, United's number 11. A fairly good opening that. Webster. Wesley rather coming through. Bundle off the ball there. South End United uh, free kick then. Eight minutes to go in this first period. All the players in the uh, Stockport half. That's not to be possibly impeded. Up there. One one for Moss to chase. Some hard crunching tackles going on out there at the moment. It really is a battle at the moment. And at the moment, South End are leading here by a goal to nil. It's a very noisy edge in the park. Free kick to United. Free kick was never in that position, surely. Anyway, I suppose it makes much difference anyway. In fact, it was a complete waste of time because Martin kicked out of play. So it's 1 0 to South and United, and if Stockport can get an equaliser, what a game we'll have on our hands then. Washington, Robinson, it's a good ball. Washington needs some support. 
now at Robinson. Hoskins in a similar position though. So uh, stop what going backwards here. Moss. Edwards. Oh, no bad effort. Can't see number four. So we're getting near to half time. Cost of a handball there by Trevor Matheson, the stop court captain. Free kick to uh, United then. Four South End players as Shear and uh, Penny Fowler. But Martin might have a crack at goal perhaps. And he does. And it's wide. And a fairly good effort that one. Sartori up against uh, Johnson there. Sartori. Robinson. So it's nowhere really, Johnson. McKenzie, plenty of time here. to Chris Marples well, I suppose hasn't had a great deal to do really a lot of puff from cuffing going on but not many direct shots at goal perhaps only Ross might decide we can have a try we're into corner really Moss giving everything he can in this game so far three and a half minutes remaining in this first half there might be a bit of injury time and Stockport can turn any of these corners into goals. I have a feeling it's going to be a good goal to get past uh, Jim Standard tonight. Powerful <laughs> header by Brown. It's Martin. Mackenzie. Oh, shit. He clears. Stop four throw. Edwards. So it's going up. Good head of that. Moss. Very nearly getting Hodgkinson through there. It's a close one there for United. Gets a game ahead tennis. Edwards got to be quick though. High up and under. And a foul by Brown. Then the tempo of the game increasing. Stockport County nil, South End United bomb. One kick by a standard. Kitsu County. Matheson then. Four header by uh, Martin Robinson. Not a bad cross. Moss getting up. Oh, English shot there. And a fantastic save by the goalkeeper. He's standing up to applaud, and that really deserved the goal. But uh, I think Jim Stanley's been feeding himself on raw steak or something. Reflex save that one. 
should encourage his defence to be looking a little bit wobbly really in the last few minutes or so. And nice to get a free kick. Penny Fowler taking a knock. So that's the nearest stop for to come to scoring. We're now into injury time. This first half. Imagine there could be a bit of that. Oh, good effort there. And Martin, who once again is not afraid to support his uh, attack. All eyes on the referee. We'll check with his linesman as yet. But an equalising goal would make this a tremendous match. It's not a bad game anyway. There's plenty of pressure and corners and throw-ins. Just can't quite uh, penetrate past. Goes well over the top. And the corner. So we've played a minute of injury time. So this is Council's last chance this half to get anything. Keeping my standard, having a fine game tonight. <laughs> Problem here for County. This cadet. Oh, unlucky there, he's still got the ball though. And there's a corner for his side, but there might be time to take this. Two minutes into injury time. United corner. That's coming back. And that is the half-time whistle and a very satisfactory one for South and United. Leading here by a goal to nil. Scored, I think, by McDonough. And uh, we should be in for a, a cracking second half. Plenty of pressure from Stockport. And Southend have one or two uncomfortable moments, but County have got to try and get past Jim Stanford. It's having a fine match for his team. So it's actually part. It's 1 0 to Southend United here. We'll be back in just a minute or two. Right, that's the half-time situation. Southend United leading uh, Stockport by a goal to nil. I expect all you people in Southend are all jumping up and down at the moment. Right, now unfortunately the technical ground was struck somewhat in the second half. And uh, you'll find there's too blue a contrast on your picture. We'll show you exactly what we mean in just a few moments. We hope that this doesn't spoil your enjoyment of the second half. We don't really think that it will make very much difference. But uh, we thought we'd bring this to your attention. As you can see there... The picture is far too blue in contrast, so if you just tone down your colour, if anything, make the picture brighter. And perhaps put a little bit more contrast in, and you should find that picture reasonably acceptable for this second half. Thanks very much indeed. The South End team is in fact, as per programme, I've been reassured to uh, tell you. So we've brought a copy of tonight's programme, you are as per programme. Wesley. Cadet, and he's offside. Edwards. Hutchinson, and there's Johnson. Five Evans. Lansman flagging. Called by Benny Father. And that's uh, Jim Standard with a kick. Fine game he had in the first half. Certainly kept his side level uh, in the lead anyway, his cadet. Coming out 
out of uh, space huh? Moss against Johnson. Johnson then with a throw. That roar goes up from the uh, South End followers. It's Cadet against Stokes. Through that, anyway, get out. Corner to South End. That's the Stockport penalty area, and as far as Rogers and uh, Donner and Mark, but offside. Stockport's last match was last Wednesday when they lost 2-1 to Rochdale. And the volatile atmosphere there. And the Oshkinson scored County's goal. Southend's last match was last Wednesday when they defeated Cambridge 3-1. And it's mainly their home form that's got them where they are on the table. Getting in there against Pennyfather. High one by Sartori. Hoskinson. And Clive Evans. And uh, Robinson trying to be a bit too tricky. Long kick by uh, Standard. That's Rogers. Free kick. Oh, well, surely on Hutchinson. Now Johnson. Evans to take it. Pat to uh, south end penalty area. Moss had two defenders round him up. Not a bad ball. Oh, nice soccer here by County. Phil Brown. Sartori, it's a clear. Desperately there, though. The Stockport County fans getting behind their side. Sartori against Wensley. Brown again. Good header there by Wesley. Robinson. Loses that to Cadet. Crowd of play. Okay, quarter of an hour gone. Here is Ashley Park, the second half. Final game of the season for Stockport, who are safe from relegation. Wesley winning the area battle with Sartori. by Evans, Hoskinson, Ernie Moss, cleared away there at the last minute by Martin. It's all nerve-wracking if you're a South End supporter, Stockport of course to save from relegation. South End really have to win, almost at all costs. Ernie Moss chasing. Back 
some apples. Danny Moss. Can Hodgkinson get that one? He can, but it's only as far as Penny Father. It's Johnson. Easy one from Apples. Plenty of pressure from Stockport in the first half, but uh, couldn't really find an opening. Matheson then. Moss. County throw. Sartori. Kimchi throw. Standard picks up, more or less that. And all his uh, clearances are taking an extra bit of time. And pressure south, then they're just going to soak up slot court pressure. Been a long, hard season for some of these uh, county players this year. And some of them looked a bit jaded after the last home game. Lost against Hartlepool. South End come forward again. Mackenzie, nice bit of tidying up. Peter Johnson. Wesley. Blood and guts football out there. Robinson. It's not a bad goal if uh, Brown can get there. And super save there by Standard. They look uh, not too composed, and it's thanks to fine keeping by Jim Standard that's keeping their goal intact. Best form of defence, of course, is attack. High cut by Evans, and that's out of play. Edwards. Ernie Moss. Sartori. Going to show some pace, huh? And is obstructed. Past Wesley, but was obstructed. So 20 minutes gone. I imagine this will be an indirect free kick. Five players around it, around the ball that is. Big chance for Moss. And not quite quick enough there. to be disappointed with that. A snapshot and into the body of the South End keeper. I expect the South End manager must be having palpitations at the moment. And, uh, the South End player requiring attention. Referee insisting that play is continued. So they're down to 10 men temporarily. And it needs to say that play has made a very quick recovery. So 
so Stockport who certainly aren't playing too badly just haven't got that look in front of goal Adley's driving in Wesley straight there, Hoskinson one ball out to Moss County being roared on by their supporters oh, nice play there by uh, Peter Johnson and as far as uh, Robinson Phil Brown says the referee and people are getting a bit too excited at the moment everyone in the main stand jumping about there's a lot at stake out there halfway through the second half and South End United still have a one goal lead and that's all that matters at the end of this game side on cadet some men with this uh, free kick Hoskinson it's too far for Brown though and Rogers will pick up for United McKenzie and as far as Cadet Donner Cadet Giving it away there to Hoskinson. There's a feral atmosphere at Hesley Park. Trying to feel for a foul there. And Sartori. Matheson loses out to Rogers. McKenzie, they want to stay there. Chance here for South End. Completely wasted there by Cadet. Still in play though. Come on, Rogers. Edwards. Martin then. The South End throw. So over halfway through this half, and the best chance fell to Ernie Moss. Snapshot, but brilliant to save by the keeper. South End draw or lose tonight and they will be in the playoffs well could well be in the playoffs providing Wolves don't win tomorrow and there are a few Wolverhampton one of the supporters here roaring stock bought on Matheson that's his keeper Phil Brown and as far as Martin to United oh, come on, Ryan. so that's against Matthewson we kick to Stockport so 20 minutes left for Stockport to save it playing advantage Mackenzie coming up the clear Martin it's at Mar McDonough it's not a bad ball to Rogers Nice throw nice play by Rogers by Cadet Edwards Markle should pick up and he does the quick clearance it's a lone battle up front for Ernie Moss there at the moment. Lucy Johnson. Cadet charging forward. And Hodgkinson. The county say credit. They're giving everything they can. Hodgkinson. Well, it's there. So, Stockport have a uh, corner. 
Southland on the break. It's a little bit disappointed with that. Old Shear, the captain, leaving it for Peter Johnson. And the referee not so happy about how long these throw-ins are taking. I suppose you can't blame Southland, they're desperate for a win. It's out of play. Shear to take it, it's going to be a corner. And the Hoskins are not agreeing with that decision. Twenty-eight minutes gone here. It's a noisy Edgley Park. Chance here for South End. It's going to be a goal. And there it is. Cadet scores for South End. People are going absolutely crazy. Bad bit of defensive work there, and really a simple sort of tapping that was. It's gone here, it's Edgley Park. And County have it all to do again. The roar of South End, South End. It's Cadet again, Oceans of Space here. Going on his own, could have a shot at goal. Oh, disappointing finish. South End encouraged by that goal. Hodgkinson. Five Evans. So I suppose it was a scrappy goal, but uh, vital one for South End. United encouraged by that strike. Martin, that swing forward. Oh, nice play there. And then so by Cooper. Sartori, Wesley. Charging forward, the stop foot might as well throw caution to the wind now. And so she it. Donut, runs his space here. Danny Farber. So in. Two South and United. Less than quarter an hour to go. Looking good here for South and United. Martin. Not offside there. Penny Father charging through. Problems here for Stockport. And a disappointing finish there. South End finally has extra yard of pace now. They know they're only quarter an hour from the third division. Thirteen minutes to go then. Hoskinson. It's out of play. And clearly, South End United look to me as if they got this sewn up. 
Stockport had the best chances either side of the interval. Lucy Johnson. Robinson. Johnson again. Any foul as a chase. Out of play. Some happy supporters down at the end of the pitch at the moment. Robinson. Sartori, Robinson again. Sartori had a hard job tonight against Wesley. Kick by Marples, but then they find Hodgkinson. My mistake. As far as Johnson. <laughs> 11 minutes to go. And South End United, 11 minutes away from the third division. County yeah, certainly haven't disgraced themselves though. an opening here it's that final penetration which just hasn't been there tonight Clive Evans Robinson Cassie <laughs> Throat Levi Edwards. Southland seems to have got the grip of this midfield really in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. Free kick there perhaps. Free waving play on. Rogers on the ball. County throw. Comes to him, Donna. Ten minutes remaining then. South End United leading here by two goals to nil. South End supporters. Right, so corner, short one up, Martin. Across the face of the uh, stop ball goal, picked up by Ernie Moss of all people. It's too far though. Robinson. It's too far for Edwards. minutes left plus any stoppage time. Marple's more or less uh, caught that. Phil Brown. This will be handball there by Johnson. Johnson again. Robinson. <laughs> South End fans still on the nerve ends, really. And Andy Hodgkinson. Oh, a bit of space here. Too near the goalkeeper. Not a bad move, that. Ground wandering across to the right. Robinson. 
given away to uh, Martin. Tries of South End, South End, and offside on Cadet. Robinson getting in. Fraction off Johnson. Robinson with this uh, throw. Time running out for County. Hoskinson. Let's take his man on. We've got the support there. Robinson. Robinson having to chase back though. Edwards. Right, Rogers in the touch. Six minutes remaining. Kenzie. Johnson heads clear. Again, not enough penetration from County. Matthewson charging forward though. Edwards. Play by Lee by Edwards. Very determined. Couldn't quite finish it off. Cadet and uh, Mackenzie should tidy up. Particularly well, look. And with five minutes to go, surely South End uh, are in the third division. looking for consolation. Let's give their supporters something to cheer. Moss. Robinson. South End just up a little bit quicker at the moment. They know what's at stake at the final whistle. They're leading here by two goals to nil. Peter Johnson has had a much better second half. A happy contingent of uh, supporters. Two minutes left. It's been a long hard season for County. And it showed a bit the last home game this heart pool. Team looked a bit jaded. It's not been that much between these two sides tonight, so County can take heart from that. South End going into the third division. Pulsating first half, very even game. It's been pretty even throughout really, but South End looking a little bit sharper in the closing seconds. A minute and a half to go here at Stockport County. Into the last minute now. Moss getting in. Stokes. Play by Johnson. Best 
rest in a minute then. Washington. Edwards getting up and an easy one for Stanford. forward, Wesley heads clear, as far as Moss, can see it looking to get their supporters something to cheer about, it's clear there though, McKenzie, Moss, Edwards, Moss, plenty of one touch football, the South End now come forward with McDonald, Cadet in an offside position at the moment. Chance here for number three. Say by Marples. So Shear with that shot. The South End team looking very, very tired. Penny Father. Into injury time now. So rather academic though now. Johnson against Moss. Clearance there uh, by County. Cadet. Matheson forward. South End supporters thought that was a final whistle, but it was offside in fact. Visiting fans at the scene now. Two minutes of injury time played. Stockford County nil, South End United two. South End go into the third division. And that's it. The end of the game, and South End's delighted supporters. Great credit to their club. South End team being mobbed. They've won promotion into the third division, and perhaps deservedly so on the night. Their players going over to their supporters. who travelled almost in the thousands tonight. Paul Clark, the manager. They're delighted, Richard Cadet. Jim Stander, what an important save that was in the first half. And the county fans showing their loyalty by cheering for Colin Murphy. County's turn next season. <laughs> County for <laughs> South End <laughs> players still <laughs> celebrating. 2 0 they've won here and then the third division. in the South End team will be celebrating all the way back to Essex. Delighted to support us. Great scenes here for the Essex uh, club. Took the game to county, scored the two goals and defended confidently. Gaffer, 
A tremendous match here, Paul, for you. Oh, it's a fabulous match, yeah. It's, uh, there was an awful lot of pressure on us at the start and a lot of nerves were about, but uh, we got a fairly early goal which settled a lot of nerves down as well. But from then on in, it was a battle. And, uh, you know, the lads rolled their sleeves up and ended up winning it, so it was fabulous. And what do you think of the Stockport to display, considering how well we are on the table? Uh, I was very impressed because, you know, all right, they were safe and there wasn't an awful lot to play for for them. But, uh, you know, Colin Murphy's a professional and he sent them out to do a job. And they didn't give us anything easy. You know, what we got, we had to earn. I thought your goalkeeper had an outstanding game. He looked as safe as houses, didn't he, in the, yeah, the battle? In, uh, in the first half, he made one fabulous save, which uh, was very important to us, you know, because if they'd equalised then, I think uh, it would have been very hard for us to go, pick ourselves up again. But, uh, you know, they're the sort of things, missed chances at one end and the ball goes in at the other, that's what promotion, you know, hinges on. And uh, what was said at half-time, you were 1-0 up, was the idea to come out and perhaps defend or perhaps get another goal? No, the, we just wanted to keep keep doing what we are doing, you know, we knew it was going to be hard. Excuse me, we just knew we were going to have to keep battling when the chances came, uh, just to try and take them, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. We didn't want to sit back because obviously they'd just throw everything at us, so we just had to match them for everything they did. And uh, your supporters, I've never seen so many here at Stockport before, they were incredible, weren't they? I've, I've got to pay tribute to them because we've been... Obviously, we've been to we go to the ends of the earth in, in this division, and uh, a lot of them are there with us all the time, and they behave fabulously. I mean, all right, tonight they've had reason to behave themselves and to have a lot of fun, but we've gone away to some places and we haven't performed well. But next week they turn up again, and they cheer and shout, and they never cause anybody any trouble, and they're an absolute credit to the club. They really are. And um, what about the third division? Are you looking forward to that next year? Well, very much so. Uh, you know, we've shown we can play when we need to and we've shown we can battle when we need to. So all the qualities are there. It's uh, just a case of winding up and here we go again next year. But uh, we'll enjoy the break now. Thank you very much. Anyway, we'll you, think about that later. You can wind down a bit now. I think. Anyway, That's many right. congratulations to everyone here at Stockport County. Best of luck much, in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.